Hello, my name is Diana, and I'm going to talk about a contactee from Wisconsin. And her contact started in 1976, and it continues to this day. Um, this contactee is named Bonnie Meyer. I'm going to talk a little bit about her in the beginning, and then I'm going to talk about uh, a couple of the books that she's written. Um, Bonnie Meyer is from Nina, Wisconsin, and uh, her contact started on uh, Fourth of July weekend in 1976. She and a couple other families were camping at a, a campsite, and one of the ladies from uh, another, the other family and her went to a um, UFO meeting in a nearby town. And it was on their way home after this meeting, after 10 o'clock, when this con their first contact happened. A UFO came down and landed in the middle of the road, and they were invited on board. Uh, right when the UFO landed, an alien went, and Bonnie goes, mm -mm. and she was about to go back in her car when she thought, oh my gosh, I've been studying um, this phenomenon for two or three years now, for several years, and um, she decided this is her opportunity to see what this UFO phenomenon is all about. So she did go on board. As soon as she thought that, she was on board. This is, uh, shows the inside of the spacecraft, um, what Bonnie saw. Um, there was a chair that came from under the, like, under the console and a screen where you can see um, the trees and the homes and the streets below. And she said it looked like one piece of, like it was made of one piece of metal all around, very smooth, lit, but you didn't see any lighting, any bulbs or, or fixtures. These are buttons on the control panel that she saw. And uh, somehow she knew that they were kind of universal symbols, like uh, she explained it like, um, the, on the restrooms, men and women, simple, like uh, no matter where you're from, you, you would know which one is which. And these are some more symbols that Bonnie saw. And she did recognize or somehow know what some of these meant, which in itself is interesting. Um, this is a, uh, the cover of Bonnie's first book. And on this cover is um, um, Eric, the captain of the peace ship which is a large ship about the size of Chicago and it's um it's round and it's about uh, 38 miles high and 40 miles wide like a balloon squished like this and this uh, gentleman is about seven feet seven and a half feet tall and this is Mon and uh, Bonnie's main alien contact and I'd like to point out right here contact in this text in our, um, that we are talking about is totally different from abduction. Um, contact and abduction. Um, contact is with positive, benevolent aliens, in fact, spiritual aliens. And um, abduction is pretty much the same as on this planet. If you're abduct abducted, it is against your will. And with alien uh, abduction, it usually means um, the removal of egg or sperm, um, probing, any and all orifices, um, fear, uh, it, it, d things done against your will. And um, this, by no means, is anything like that. This is contact. And this is um, Mon, an alien, um, one of Bonnie's main alien contacts. This is Lee, and she's very interesting in that her job on board is like Counselor Troy from uh, Star Trek Next Generation. Um, Lee the term they use is blends. She blends with people, with their mind and their soul, to help them through their problems so she can understand totally what, what they're dealing with and help them through it. Bonnie has had hypnosis to help her uh, remember what happened. And, and this is uh, some of the drawings that she has had somebody do, schematics of uh, the second level on board the peace ship. Um, some interesting facts about Bonnie. Bonnie did not believe in UFOs before before this. In fact, she got into it trying to um, prove one of her friends wrong. You know, she thought her friend was getting involved, <clears throat> excuse me, with a kooky bunch of people, as she says it. <clears throat> and then she's done a lot of research, reading, and um, chasing lights that ended up being, um, you know, towers out in the, the country um, with just lights flashing on them. Um, Bonnie has had ongoing, ongoing contact for more than 30 years. She receives and sends messages telepathically, which seems to be a 
pretty uh, standard form of, of communication with the benevolent aliens. Um, she has had a Jesus encounter, and it was on March 24, 1989, in a grocery store. And uh, by the way, that was Good Friday. Several people saw this being, and uh, you'll have to read it in the book to find out more, but um, very interesting. Some of the messages that uh, in the first book that were told to Bonnie were that balance and meditation were very important uh, to protect yourself against evil. Um, intuition is a key to survival on, in the future, and she believes, and I do too, that uh, intuition is your direct line to the Creator, thus being very important to listen to that. Um, that uh, another thing is that only God creates. and. Um, one of the other things is earth changes and the severity and the severity of these earth changes is directly dependent on um, the spirituality of the people on this planet. Um, there's a transition, uh, raising of the level, the, the vibrational level of this planet and that transition, the smoothness of that transition depends on the spiritual state of the people on this planet and each one of us can make a difference.